Hey yo, dog pal, what's cracking? All right, so today I got a special treat for you guys. What are we gonna do today? Wait, man, come on, man, hold on. Hey, Dog Pound. Have you seen the Dog Father? He was out here a little while ago, but I can't seem to find him now. So, running camera, unattended? You know what that means? Channel takeover. So, we're gonna make some everything but the peanut brittle. Y'all with it? Let's get it. So we're starting off with a basic cookie sheet. You'll see that I've got a silicone sheet on there. You don't necessarily need it, but I put one on. We're using basic raw mix nuts, and it doesn't matter what kind you use. I'm setting the oven for 350 and letting it warm up while I pull the, the nuts out. So I've got about eight handfuls of nuts. You're gonna see this mix is awesome. It's got pistachios and almonds and walnuts and pecans. It's everything but the peanut. Take the time to spread it out so that you don't have any nuts on top of each other. We're gonna roast them in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes. Basically, when you can smell that, you'll know they're ready. So we've got the butter, and I've got a good four tablespoons of butter that I'm pouring onto this pan. I'm smoothing it in to get every corner because whatever doesn't get coated with butter will stick with candy. So take your time on this part. Maybe grab a kid to do it. I've noticed I've got the gloves on, we've got it going good. So here's my ingredients, and you're gonna see them on the screen as well, and they're gonna be in the comments below, or the description below. So we've got the baking soda, the light corn syrup, we've got vanilla, that's regular kosher salt, red pepper flakes, cayenne, unsalted butter, for sure, unsalted, and then basic everyday sugar. So you're gonna see I'm putting these into these small containers just so you can kind of see them, but really, if you're making it for yourself, you're gonna to wanna to put your cayenne and your red pepper flakes and your salt all into one container so you can scoop it in quicker. Baking soda on its own because you're gonna put that in very last. You're gonna have the butter there, you're gonna have the vanilla as well. Now I'm putting the sugar in here just so you can kind of see it, but obviously we're just gonna put it straight in the pan if we're actually making it. Mix it with the water and mix it with your corn syrup. And watch that sexy pour the corn syrup. Now we're gonna go ahead and put it in our pan. We put our sugar in, we add our water, we add our corn syrup. I don't think there's really a, um, an order that's necessary, but these three things are gonna make the basic of your candy. So this is where the bulk of your time is gonna be because you're stirring, stirring, stirring. See that number right there? That hard crack, 300 degrees, is what you're stirring to. You're gonna notice that I've got the candy thermometer stuck to the side of the pan and I'm constantly pushing the candy to the thermometer to get it to catch the temperature so I can monitor the temperature. So again, our magic number is 300 and it's about to move really quickly. You're gonna pull that thermometer out. You're gonna start dropping your items in. Make sure you put that baking soda in last. Stir, stir, stir and get that glove ready because it will be hot. As you start stirring everything in, because your peanuts are hot, you're gonna notice that it's not gonna seize up and you're gonna have that time to mix it in. Once you've got everything mixed in, you're gonna get ready and you're gonna put it on that pan. Dropping it on that pan, make sure that you spread it out as best you can, use those protective gloves and get it as thin as possible so it's ready to start chilling. Okay, so remember we talked about you wanted to have a lot of extra butter. You're gonna see that some of it's gonna be pooling in the edges, and it's also pooling underneath the, the brittle, and it's basically adding that additional layer of flavor. So you'll see that you've got that golden front color from it continuing to cook. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna lift it and we're gonna twist it just to release it from the pan. Okay, and you see how we got the bulk of it out in one twist. That means we did a great job of buttering everything. This will probably pop up. Yep, there it goes too. So the fact that it all came up in one layer means we did a great job of greasing our pan. So one of the most important steps of making any kind of brittle is making sure that your candy gets to the hard 
crack stage. If you don't get to that hard crack stage, you will not have a hard candy. What will end up happening is it will be tacky and potentially you will lose a crown. All right, so as we break this, we should hear a nice crisp break. Did you hear that? We know that our candy is at that hard candy stage, which is exactly what you're going for. And you can see lots of nuts mixed in. If you look at it closely, you can see the bits of cayenne. Though interestingly enough, the red pepper flakes will actually dissolve, so you won't see them, but you'll taste them when you bite into them. So just to kind of recap, we made an everything but the peanut brittle. Of course, you can use peanuts if you want to do peanuts for your brittle. This is a great treat that you can have after those barbecue meals. It is sweet, but it's spicy enough to hold up to the complexities of barbecue and gives you a great balance of dessert flavor. We've got a great combination up here of the sweet and the spicy. It's got that great crunch to it. It's got that butteriness that comes on every bite. So thank you for dropping in. Don't tell the dog father we did this. And what is it he always says? Oh yeah, peace. All right, everything but the peanut brittle. That's a wrap. Shh, don't tell the dog father. Peace. <laughs>